For me, as a developer, I like to get into a flow state as quickly as possible and stay there for as long as possible. And I can do just that with NeoVim and Tmux. Here, check it out. I'm currently in a Tmux session and I can open up NeoVim. I go to a test I was just working on. Let me just run this test and it opens up a new Tmux pane below my current NeoVim session. I can navigate between my panes seamlessly between NeoVim and Tmux and I can create a new pane. I can run my server and I can see my logs and it's super easy to switch back and forth between everything and I love it. But you might be asking yourself, what is the flow state? Well, when I think of flow state, I only think of one person that can explain this perfectly and I'm sure you're thinking of the same person. That person of course is Kevin Costner. Wait, what? Stick around, I'll explain. So first of all, what is the flow state? Well, a little definition might go something like this. It means being in the zone or locked in. The mental state in which a person performing some activity is fully immersed in a feeling of energized focus. And when I think of the flow state, I think of an iconic movie and actor. That actor, as I said before, is Kevin Costner. And no, the movie is not Waterworld, although that was a banger. The movie is a classic baseball movie from 1999 called For the Love of the Game. In this movie, Kevin Costner plays an aging baseball player named Billy Chappell, who is going out on the mound for what is likely the last game of his long career. Now, spoiler alert, he goes on to pitch a perfect game, gets hoisted up on the shoulders of his teammates, wins over a rowdy Yankee. Yankees crowd and somehow wins the love and respect of his daughter. Either way, what I want to talk about is not the ending of the movie, but how he gets there. In one of the first scenes, we see our hero walking out onto the mound. The crowd is booing and yelling at him, but he does something that always stuck in my head for some reason. Billy Chapel takes a breath and he says, clear the mechanism. Then all of the sounds of the stadium, the train passing by, unruly fans, and all of those sounds just quiet down. He has full concentration between just him and his catcher. And that to me is the best representation of flow state that I've ever seen in the movies. And that's how I feel when I use NeoVim and Tmux together. As strange as that sounds, I really do feel that way. My editor, the code, an angry boss yelling at me, all of that just falls away and I'm left with the best sensation in the world typing on my keyboard. And here's how I accomplish such a feeling. So let's show this off with an example Ruby on Rails application. With my setup, like I said, I typically use Tmux with NeoVim for editing my code. Let's go over my main workflow and how I get into the zone right now. Now first, what I would do is I would open up Tmux. Now I am in Tmux. Tmux is a terminal multiplexer and it's amazing. Just watch. In Tmux, I can open up NeoVim and go to my code. Now, even though I'm in Vim, I can actually really easily create a new Tmux pane and run my Rails server. So now I have access to all my logs and just all the typical stuff you would want with development and I can go right back to my previous pane, no problem. Now that I'm in my test, I want to run my test and see if all my tests are passing. I can do that very easily and it automatically creates a pane below where I currently am in Tmux. This is absolutely amazing. Now I can zoom up on that pane, see that all my tests work and go back to NeoVim, no issues whatsoever. This is my workflow and I feel like this gets me into the perfect flow state as quickly as possible for as long as possible. Now before I go into this amazing setup just know that we covered this in incredible detail on two courses NeoVim for Noobs and Tmux for Noobs. Both of them are available on typecraft.dev so sign up if you want to know exactly how every piece of my configuration fits together and how I get Tmux and NeoVim to look as beautiful as I do here. But for now let's explain the main pieces behind this amazing workflow and how I like to fit them together to serve my needs. First let's talk about easy pane switching in Tmux. Now typically in Tmux you would have to push a leader key and by default it is control B in order to actually use it. But for me I have a few tricks up my sleeve in this Tmux configuration. So to see where I improve my Tmux config let's just open up our Tmux configuration. It is .tmux.com. And again we go through in great detail on typecraft.dev on how I set this up line by line. But right now I'm just going to show you how we make this more ergonomic for our use case. Now for me the the first thing I do is I always set my prefix to control S. Control S is just a much better and more ergonomic prefix than control B. With control B, I have to reach all the way to B, 
with my pinky and my index finger. If it was control S, they're right next to each other and it's just in the home row, much easier to hit for me. The next thing I do is I make sure to bind the Vim keys to move across my panes as opposed to using arrows. So for me, I use H, J, K, and L to correspond to the directions of the panes that I wanna to switch to. H is left, J is down, K is up, and L is right. H, J, K, L, left, down, up, right, or Ladur for short. Ladur. So now with those two things in mind, I can create a new vertical pane by typing control S, percent and control S H control S L will actually get me across my panes. And that's just way easier. Everything is in the home row right now. My hands don't have to move much at all. And it's just super simple to move around. I can create another pane, move up, move down, move right, move left. Super easy just by hitting control S and the navigation keys for Vim. But wait, I'm not done. I can actually improve this even more by installing a plugin through TPM called Vim Tmux Navigator. We can see down here that we set up TPM. Again, I go over this in previous videos that you can watch on this channel. So feel free to subscribe and check out those and then come back if you're not sure what TPM is. Now through TPM, the Tmux plugin manager, I install a plugin called Vim Tmux Navigator by Chris Toomey. This thing is amazing. What it does is it remaps your keys so that control HJKL will actually go through your panes so you don't have to hit your prefix. You just hold control down down and you can go through all your panes. So with this plugin, what I can do is I can create a new pane and without having to hit my prefix control S, I can just hold down control, holding it down and type H and L. So now I can really quickly move between my panes in Tmux super fast. It feels like second nature because again, I'm a Vim kid. So this is just super easy for me to do and I love it. So now I have this setup where it's super easy to move around all my panes in Tmux and I can open up something like NeoVim, create a new pane in Tmux, create another new pane in Tmux and I can move back and forth between Tmux and that's super awesome. And what's great is I can also move up to Vim because Vim Tmux Navigator knows that if I'm in a Vim pane, it'll send a certain command up to Vim to get into that Vim pane. Now, the only problem is I don't actually have the ability to go down to Tmux from Vim. Well, guess what? That problem is also solved because Vim Tmux Navigator also has a Vim plugin that you can use. And once you install it, it will allow you to seamlessly move between Vim and Tmux, no problems whatsoever. So let me open up my NeoVim configuration really quick and I'll show this off. And in my NeoVim configuration, and again, we go over this on typecraft.dev, elsewhere in the channel, subscribe and then come back here if you're interested in how we get to this spot. But in my plugins, in my NVim configuration, I have Chris Toomey's Vim Tmux Navigator installed through lazy.nvim. So now this gives me the most amazing workflow. I can open up NeoVim, I can create a new pane with Tmux and I can seamlessly move between NeoVim panes and Tmux panes no problem whatsoever. This is absolutely amazing. And then there's one more package that I have installed in NeoVim to make this absolutely perfect, and that is Vim Test. Now for me, in my NeoVim configuration, if I'll just open it up right here, if I go into my plugins Vim Test, we see that we install Vim Test, which is just a general test runner for NeoVim, and I have a dependency here called Vimux. This will send our Vim Test command to a new Tmux pane whenever I run a test. And we see we have all these key maps for all these ways I can run my tests and I let my strategy be Vimux. So all of this together gives me the most amazing workflow where I can open up a controller test, I can run my tests, it opens up a new Tmux pane, I can move back and forth between these panes super easily, I can create a new pane, run my server, and it's all amazing. So subscribe for more Tmux, NeoVim, and interesting Linux content, and hey, thanks nerds.